article is a narrative review of combined pulmonary fibrosis and emphysema, CPFE. My name is Masahiro Nemoto, and I'm a researcher at the Department of Immunology at Chiba University, Japan, and I'm also a pulmonologist. Here, I'm delighted to have an opportunity to introduce our review article Combined Pulmonary Fibrosis and Emphysema, a narrative review just published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings, November 2023, co-authored with Dr. Ku, Dr. Scanlon, and Dr. Liu at the Mayo Clinic Rochester. First of all, what do you think of when you hear the term CPFE? For many, I guess it may not ring a bell and sound odd. First, CPFE is a syndrome that refers to the co-occurrence of two disease processes in the lung, fibrosis and emphysema. This has implications of diagnosing and managing patients with CPFE, thus requiring understanding of the pathophysiology beyond that single disease concept. Second, CPFE often appears normal on screen procedures such as just x-rays and spirometry, making the diagnosis difficult and often overlooked. This is because emphysema and pulmonary fibrosis can counterbalance respective impairments. Finally, the term CPFE has not been clearly defined by international consensus. That is an issue to be resolved in the future. CPFE presents with chronic respiratory symptoms, radiologic evidence of parenchymal fibrosis and emphysema, typically occurring in middle-aged or older individuals who are current or previous smokers. The patients with CPFE have an increased risk of lung cancer as well as pulmonary hypertension. This is one of the reasons why it's important to consider CPFE, again, beyond the single disease concept. In our narrative review article, we illustrate the presenting features, diagnostic evaluations, and management strategies related to CPFE. His A is COPD, B is idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, IPF, and C is CPFE. Looking at the chest x-rays first, COPD shows hyperinflation and flattening of the diaphragm. In the IPF case, Reticular opacities are seen in the lower lungs with decreased lung volumes. In CPFE, the lungs appear slightly overexpanded, unlike case B. However, the diaphragmatic flattening appears less pronounced than in A, so it can be difficult to diagnose CPFE with chest X-rays alone. Next, let's compare the series of spirometry, emphysema, tends to show obstructive impairment due to loss of lung recoil and increased lung compliance by loss of alveolar tissue. In contrast, most IODs cause increased lung recoil, which means reduced lung compliance and lung volume, resulting in restrictive impairment. In CPFE, spirometry may be perfectly normal when these effects are evenly counterbalanced. Therefore, a chest CT scan is essential for diagnosing CPFE in addition to the physical findings. Next, the right panel from Figure 3 is a clinical flowchart on evaluating and treating patients with CPFE as confirmed by chest CT scan. The evaluation should include screening for lung complications, especially lung cancer and pulmonary hypertension. In the treatment, a fundamental step towards minimizing CPFE progression is smoking cessation. There are no clinical trials or therapies specifically aimed at CPFE. It's important to individualize management strategies, including those of lung rehabilitation and therapeutic agents based on COPD and the underlying IOD. So to summarize, Combined pulmonary fibrosis and emphysema is a combined disease process that are often unrecognized. Patients with CPFE are at an increased risk for lung cancer and pulmonary hypertension. 
increased awareness among clinicians and research studies of potential treatment modalities are needed. Thank you for your watching. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.